Does this look familiar to you? Watch the video right till the end for simple and effective hacks to tackle your dog's leash biting behavior on walks. Leash biting can be so frustrating and annoying to deal with. In this video, I'm going to give you six tips that's going to help you stop your dog from biting on a leash while you're walking. Let's get right into it. Tip number one to stop the leash biting behavior. Stop walking and do not tug back. Most times, leash biting can be attributed to overstimulation and overexcitement on walks. While biting it, your dog is probably looking at the leash as any other tug toy. So when you tug back, your dog is going to apply more pressure in the opposite direction, just the way it happens in tug. Plus, if you continue walking while all of this is happening, you're just adding to the fun that your dog is having at that point in time. A game of tug combined with outdoor distractions and the walk continues. What more does your dog want? So what do you do? First things first, stop walking and hold the leash still rather than tugging it away from your dog. This is your attempt to tone down the excitement. Once you've expressed your displeasure in being a part of your dog's overexcitement, you move on to tip number two. Build a correction routine. Our dogs get into undesirable behaviors like leash biting, reactivity, barking, etc. because that's the only reaction they know towards a certain trigger. Try and identify the pattern of your dog's behavior. Does he only bite the leash when he sees another dog and he wants to go say hi? Or when you're on your way back home? Or in the park? Really try to observe what makes your dog bite on the leash. Once you recognize the precedent, you will be able to manage your dog's behavior better in that situation. Let's say your dog starts biting the leash when he gets excited to go to the park. So if you want an alternate behavior, teach an alternate behavior. What do you want him to do instead of biting on the leash? Stay calm, ask him to do so. So when he starts biting on the leash, stop and ask him to sit and stay for about 30 seconds and reward him for that calm behavior. that you continue the walk. If he starts biting again, repeat the exercise. This is called forming a correction routine. You got to do this every single time your dog starts biting the leash while you're approaching the park. As of now, the outcome of biting on the leash is exciting for your dog because sometimes you tug back, sometimes you end up yelling, sometimes you just run, Sometimes you end up continuing the walk. Sometimes you give him a treat to stop biting. And sometimes you do something else. But if you keep the outcome of this behavior the same every single time, your dog not only learns what not to do, but also learns what to do instead of that behavior. Number three, carry a tug toy for redirection. If your dog is just tugging on the leash because he wants to play a game of tug, why not let him play? But with the toy, not with the leash. Before you start your walk or before you even step outside the house, play a game of tug with your dog for about a few minutes. This will help you remove that excess energy out of your dog and start your walk on a calmer note. Lower levels of excitement is sometimes equal to lower chances of leash biting. Make sure you carry that toy along so that anytime your dog experiences a burst of overexcitement, you have an outlet ready for him. If you found this video helpful so far, make sure to like it. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and will push my video further, thereby helping more people like you who are looking to train their dogs at home. Tip number four, encourage sniffing. I feel like the importance of sniffing on walks is really underrated by pet parents. It's true, we tend to give so much importance to the healing and obedience part of the walks, forgetting that sniffing is the most enriching activity our dogs can do. Sniffing lowers a dog's pulse rate, 
thereby helping them to calm down effectively. Sniffing provides mental stimulation, socialization, and whatnot. The outside world has so much to offer. Why not just redirect to your dog to savor every little bit of it? If you've been taking the same route every single day on your walks, you're denying your dog of new experiences and new smells. And once familiar with an area, your dog will move on to the next exciting thing that's possibly leash biting. To encourage sniffing, change your route every once in a while. Explore new areas, preferably new surfaces loaded with exciting new smells. Drop treats on the ground to get your dog started on his sniffari. Here's a pro tip. Use a longer leash instead of a standard four feet leash. At times, your dog could be biting on the leash out of frustration that he's not getting the chance to sniff and explore on his walks, maybe because of the tiny leash that you're carrying, which you might be unknowingly holding tight. A longer leash will give your dog a lot more freedom to explore and maybe reduce the chances of the leash biting behavior. Tip number five, try taste deterrence. If taste deterrence like vinegar or bitter apple spray can help keep your dog's mouth away from the couch or the furniture, why not use it on the leash? Sometimes a simple workaround is all it takes. Another workaround could be tip number six. Clip on two leashes. This one's such a great hack to tackle leash biting behavior. As soon as your dog grabs onto the first leash, hold onto the second one. And if he starts biting onto the second leash, grab the first one. It's an amazingly simple technique and a fantastic hack to tackle leash biting behavior on walks. So that's it for today, you guys. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it. Let me know in the comments below which of these tips you're going to implement or have already implemented while walking your dog. Subscribe to my channel to be updated on the coolest tricks to train and bond with your dog. Bye for now, stay awesome and keep training.